Well, howdy there, folks. I'm your host, Danny Dino. I want to welcome you to another Dino Net Cutlery dot com dot yeah show. Yeah. And uh, what we got for you today is another Fun Knife Friday Starter Pack. Now, the problem we had with the last Fun Knife Friday Starter Pack was some, some people complained that some of the knives were a little bit small. Well, you know, we showed you what they were, and, and you ordered them. So, that's like ordering a chocolate ice cream cone and then saying you wanted vanilla after you ate it. Well, I'm sorry, you know. You get what you ordered. You ordered that, that's what you got. Now, you might can talk to customer service. They might be a little bit more friendly, but they'll just tell you the same thing. All right, now... We didn't want to start Fun Knife Friday off on a downer. So, got a deal right here for you right now. That if you can't have fun with it, there is something wrong with you. Now, you may notice that I have trusted Hand Model to hold me during the filming. Because we worked it out with my lawyers and, uh, and, uh, the OSHA administration, everything, they realized that, yeah, it was kind of dangerous for me to be down there, but then I said, hey, it's kind of dangerous for hand model to be holding me. Have you seen what hand model's hands look like? And then they said, you know, we could write it in the contract where hand model's got to wash his hands before he can get a hold of you. I said, all right, I reckon that sounds all right to me. So anyways, that's what we got going on right here. Now, again, it sounds, this sounds like a downer. But, you gotta have fun with what we got here for you right now. Let me just show you all the individual pieces before I hit you with how low you can get all this. Now, we got this display slowed down so I can talk a little bit about each as it goes by. But then I'm gonna have to jump right back to the next one. So, all right, what we got right here is the Old Southwest. It's a sow belly stockman. And it just ran away. But now we got right here is a cow fish. Now that's, that's a very good one right there. And then we got two right here. They're just going by too fast. I really can't talk about them right now until they come back. You know what? Let's just stop this right here. No, no, not reverse. Stop it. No, not... not. What? Hand Miles got to think about holding you and doing all this at the same time. Well, there we go. <laughs> he, the boy can't chew bubble gum and walk at the same time. Anyway, I better not say too much because he might drop me. And I don't like being dropped. What we got right here is a sunfish. You can see the fish. He's hiding from the sun because he's under the water. But he likes the sun, and, and everybody calls him a sunfish because that's all he ever talks about is the sun. Whenever they're, you know, saying stuff, gathering together in their little fishing lobbies, and they're talking about stuff, you know, instead of talking about, did you see that shark or anything like that? No, no, he's got to be talking about the sun. And Anyway, that's him down there, and that's his buddies. You see, they ain't close to him. He's kind of like, you know, and his mouth's going. You see bubbles coming out. He's just talking his head off. Anyway, you can have that little sunfish here and, and, and this lovely scenery here. We also got these two these two cranes over here talking, talking smack about what's going on right here. You can see them. You can see they're on a bolster, and they're talking smack about what's going on with them fish over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, they say they're kissing, but I don't see them beaks touching. Do you? Do you? I don't see them beaks touching. They they look like an old married couple if they is kissing, because look, they, 
They ain't even that close to each other. She's probably complaining. She's the one looking over there. The husband, he's just minding his own business as usual. And and the wife says, look, look at them fish over there. And that guy just talking his head off about the sunshine. What's so special about sunshine? And, and anyway, well, we won't want to get into too much about what the husband said, but he got in trouble again. And, you know, when you're a crane and they tell you you're in the doghouse, well, that usually means the dog ate you and you're in his belly. Because, yeah, that's your dog house right there. Because cranes don't need no dog house. What? We're cranes. All right, yeah, yeah, but you got these... You got him here again on the, on the, on the blade up here. Now, this one right here is a used model. It's just for display only. It's a used model because you can set me down now, hand model, and, and show the, the knife. If you look on the rear here, we stole it from Grandma. That's right. Grandma wasn't using it, and, and we need to show, you know, to go, and she got it from Taiwan. Now, for those of you that hate China, I want you to know as of right now, I don't know about 30 minutes from now, but as of right now, Taiwan is not China, according to Taiwanese. According to everybody else, official documents, all that other stuff, they say that Taiwan is a part of China. So, uh, it's up to you. If you hate China, then you can say that's a China knife. But if you love Taiwan... You can say that's a Taiwanese knife. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of controversy going on with this knife here, you know. So, anyway, we, we better get off that one. It's a little too controversial. If you could just start up that rotation again there. All right, yeah, and I don't think we need to be all zoomed. Yeah, they, but your rotation's going too fast, man. People can't. Look at that. What is wrong with you, boy? Slow that down. I think you need to slow it down. Even further. Uh, yeah. We're getting there. Alright, now. You know what? Just stop it. No, no, not that. Alright, let's get on the old southwest right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get that. Alright, let now. I'll get hand model pick this up. We're working this out, folks. It's new technology. And, you know, I'm, I'm a dinosaur, huh? I'm old school. I mean, really old school. All right, what we got here is the old Southwest Sabelle. Now, look at all these little emblems here and stuff and, and symbols. And, and these are all these special stones we got right here. Now, look, this diamond in the, in the bolster is very unique. Very unique. Because normally you'd have a pin going in there to hold that. But that whole bearing surface... Is made out of turcalina. Turcalina is an amazing synthetic product that we've made out that looks like a stone, but is stronger than the strongest steel you've ever found. That's right, this stuff does not wear out. Your pivot will never get loose when you've got turcalina pivots. That's right. And we put some over here down here for you to just experiment with. I do not recommend blasting away at it with your pew pews now now see we got to call it pew pews because we want this advertiser friendly this is about knives this ain't about anything else this is about knives right here this is a knife channel and you're gonna have fun with your knife all right now if you know how to read all these symbols right here this was a special symbol uh that the indians had and uh, this has a lot of Mings right here. Each one of these dots represents somebody that scalped a white man in the old Southwest. Now, remember, this is the old Southwest. This is not the new Southwest. So you don't have to look at those dots as one of your relatives or anything. And then the inner circle right here is when the white man got revenge on some of them. So, you know, it's just a vicious circle. And then in the middle of it, it's Turkalina. They had to come in and just straighten everything out and say, Yeah, man, y'all settle down, man. Everybody needs to just get together. Y'all can open up a casino, and, and the white man will leave you alone eventually. 
I mean, really leave you alone. Like, you wish that they would help you, but they don't. All right, we don't want to get into all that, but I'm just telling you, this is the inner meaning of this particular symbol right here. And they repeat it, you know, on either side. And then the blood was, you know, I mean, the red right here didn't didn't really mean anything bad happened. No, because, see, there was a, a peace tree right here that's white, right in the middle. And then, yeah, there happened to be, you know, we'll just call that rust in the river. <laughs> that's all that was. It was rust in the river on either side, and then there was a truce. And then here's, well, we don't want to get too involved in this because I'm giving away too many tribal secrets. I just want you to say that right now. So, uh, yeah, let me let me get this guy going again here, and we'll stop him again on something more interesting. All right, yeah, here we go. Now, this one here is a very fun one, very fun one right here. Uh, this one right here is called the cowfish. Now, two of my favorite foods are right there, cow and fish. You got them both in this one right here. You got, this one's made out of genuine cow skull we don't use the legs we use the skull and it's hard to get it to look this good because you know they got all that little connecting stitches and all that other stuff so yeah we got to get the biggest cows for this one and uh that's what makes it pretty rare there and see this is where he hit his head on on a fence post at one time and he got that scar on his head all right yeah and this is made out of vg10 right there and we got it from my brother. That's right. This is my brother's knife. I, I, I borrowed it from him. I tell you, we have to get a lot of used stuff up here right now because we've been having supply issues, as you know. All right. Now, since since we got it right here, let's go ahead and pick up this Gentleman's Barlow. That's right. This is a, another Southwest kind of flavor in everything because this one's in the, they call this one the Stoneworks pattern. So it was a guy that was working with some stones, and he thought, you know what? I can't think of a name. I'm just going to call this Stoneworks. What I was doing, I was working on stones. And then, just to throw everything off, he had some abalonite thrown in there. Yeah, this is genuine, 100% abalonite. Yeah, this stuff's been restricted. In a lot of places, you can't import it and everything because it's so rare. And and this red and white here don't have the same meaning on this knife because the, even though it's a, you know it, it it looks kind of like a southwest flavor and everything, no no this is the stoneworks knife right here. They was working on the stones, and there was a big accident one time, and yeah a lot of the miners got crushed in a bad cave in. So they want to memorialize that right here in this one right here, and it took a lot of horses to get them out. That's why they had to horseshoes up here you know they had to pull them out a lot of them i mean you know you could see it's a lot bigger than the other stuff up here and the white is them you know they went to the they went to the pearly gates that's right it's mother of pearlite right here all them miners were found to be you know not sinful or anything and they went to the pearly gates that's right and the blue river right here well it was everybody partying afterwards but they had a good time because, you know, they didn't want to work in that mine anyway. And with that cave in, the mine shut down and everything. Everybody was pretty happy. And then the mother of pearlite, you know, I mean, uh, the abalonite right here. You already know how rare that stuff is and the import restrictions they got on it. And, uh, it, you know, after a certain year, I'm telling you, you ain't going to be able to get this stuff anymore. And then it repeats, you know, with the... You know, that that was not another cave-in back here. They're just repeating the theme, you know. That, and, and yeah, just just memorializes that very bad, tragic accident. But this is Fun Knife Friday, so I don't want you to think about the bad stuff. You could think about this as uh, you drink a lot of red wine one time, you know, and those chunks are what came up when you got no no that would be that wouldn't be fun either so let me see here oh oh sorry i've been sleeping over here on the side i was think i think better when i'm on my side all right yeah so let's just put that one back up hand model and, and get to another knife because you're confusing people 
All right, over here we got, this is a genuine, slightly used doctor's knife. Now, I say slightly used because, you know, again, you don't want to come out there and look like the rich kid every time Fun Knife Friday comes out with a brand new knife. You want to get something that looks like it's been, that's right, this one's been fun worn. You want a fun worn knife for Fun Knife Friday. Well, you got it in this package right here. If none of those other knives were any fun for you, I mean, this is a doctor's knife right here. Now, normally you have to be a doctor to own one of these, but we got a special connection through Doctor Who. He knows some other doctors. That's why this one's slightly used. You know how many people this guy cut up? And this looks also like something your uncle used to do, the way he used to get on a bench grinder. You tell him... Can you sharpen my knife for me, Uncle? He'd go, yeah, no problem. And he'd put the course of stone on the bench grinder, and he'd go, and you'd see the sparks fly, and they'd look so pretty. <laughs> yeah, and then he'd hand your knife back, and it'd look like this, and you'd go, uh, uh, and he'd say, check the edge. And you'd check the edge, and you'd go, ow. And he'd go, is your knife sharp? And, and you'd say, yeah. And he'd go, then get the heck out of here before I whip my belt off and tan your hide. And then, you know, you, you got to go. But uh, anyway, this one right here, they took some tiny turtles too, man. And and they, they poured lead all over them or pewter. I think this is pewter. They put pewter on them. And they, you know, because it's a tiny turtle, uh, you know, you got to get them when they're young. And uh, some people don't like that. But, you know, this is just, it ain't real turtles, hint, hint, that we're using here. It's just uh, a casting of one. Like, we didn't really cast pewter on top of a tiny turtle, I don't think. We'll have to check with that. But anyway... Yeah, yeah, and you got this pill crusher right here. It's not for what you think, kids. This is old school days, all right? They weren't doing that stuff back then, all right? So you can still use it to mash cockroaches and ants. You know, if ants are on the table, you can just pick off a whole row of ants just going dun, 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 dun. If they're trying to get your picnic table, all right, and it, and it has this... I think it's done very well. It's just, it's, it looks exactly like a hawksbill turtle. And, uh, it, it's, it's a spitting image, I tell you. And, uh, it's not really, though. It's synthetic because, again, for some reason, somebody over hunted down a population and then they became endangered species just because people liked this tortoise shell and the poor tortoise says hey that may have been your funky looking glasses but that was my house you just took from me oh and by the way my life when you took me you also took my life and my house so thanks for wearing my house on your face I hope you got a tortoise shell comb out of it too, because I'd throw them glasses away. They don't, they look better on my back than they look on your face. You know, that's what the turtle would have said on this tortoise shell situation. So now we got it synthetic, so we don't have to go through all that. Because, man, can you imagine the complaints we would get if we were using real tortoise shell i mean i'm all for peta because th they help me out people for the ethical treatment of hey it's supposed to be dinosaurs it's just animals i'm not a i'm a dinosaur what the heck yeah i don't like peta then you know because i like eating animals they're pretty good anyway yeah yeah we we gotta let you mosey on down but all right, did we get the item number down there in the payments? No, we didn't. So let's get that going for you right now. Let's let's turn this display back on on a slow speed there, hand model. Slow. 
All right. Fun Night Friday Deluxe Starter Pack. Five pieces. Item number 666-8195. $100. Right there, it, it meets the 37 painless payments of $2.71. That's right, $2.71 for all this. And if you order right now, you probably get it by next Friday. Um, we're throwing in free shipping with this too. So, you know, we'll throw it on a truck when we feel like it. But, I mean, it's free. So you can't complain. Alright, you can't complain. If you do, we're just going to tell you what I told you. It's free shipping. So, we're shipping it. You get it when it gets there. I don't want to have this on a downer for you because, like I said, most people are going to get their order by next Friday. All right, this has been a long one here, so, folks, I hope you have been taking notes. Uh, we'll flash those item numbers and the prices for you on the screen again. And remember, our operators are standing by 26 and a half hours a day. We had to, we could, had to cut out that 27 because... They did need a break. So we dropped it down to 26 and a half hours a day. They're standing by for your order. And uh, we ain't got them no cheers yet. yet, Because like I said, that's an incentive thing, man. I can run my business the way I want to. This is America. All right. So thank you for watching. Remember, this is, this is lower 48 continental united states only i'm sorry i know we got a lot of foreign fans out there that like to watch this stuff but i'm sorry your country is just too restrictive on these things here they think that you're gonna be a mass murderer or something when you order this little knife that you're gonna go ahead because it's locking it's a danger a menace to society I tell you what, a non-locking knife is a danger to you, and you're part of the public, aren't you? So if they're protecting the public, how come they ain't protecting you from your own knife, huh? That's what I want to know. Well, anyway, I just want to say also, uh, we recently heard out that the Queen died, and uh, we here at DinoNet are very sad and sorry and respect the Queen, and uh, our hearts go out to the people of uh, Great Britain and the United Kingdom. Uh, it's no longer going to be saying God save the Queen. It'll be now saying God save the King. So when y'all say that, make sure you get it right. But yeah, she was a great, great Queen there. It lasted a long time and did a very good job for her country, which is more than I can say for some politicians in, in this country right here. But anyway, we don't want to get into politicians and stuff like that. We want you to have fun, so you go ahead and have fun on Fun Night Friday. You go ahead and place your order, and I'm telling you, you will be happy. All right, so thank you for watching, and y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> Bye.